Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have another episode of our Skyrim Redone series. This one focuses on the race module. As I've said in the other videos, it's important to keep in mind that most of these videos will focus on separate modules that can be installed separately. They don't depend on each other, and if you only like the changes made in this video, then you can choose only to install these changes. The race module for Skyrim Redone wants to help diversify the vanilla races, and in particular focuses on racial abilities and skills. The racial skills in the vanilla game are quite limited. They either come with a passive or an active skill that can only be used once a day. Some of the skills are also completely useless, like the Imperials who can gain a small percentage of extra gold in a world that makes it easy to become rich. Instead, the Imperial race will now come with four racial abilities. Imperial Charisma, a 25% passive buff for better buying and selling prices. There's also Tactician, and whenever an Imperial successfully blocks an attack, you drain the attacker's stamina by 10%. And finally, there's two extra abilities that highlight the race's leadership skills, and they're Attack Order and Guard Order. These two skills are linked and come with the same cooldown. Attack Order gives followers 25% more spell and weapon damage, but they also suffer 25% more damage in return. They also move and attack 25% faster. Guard Order is the opposite and they'll both deal damage and take less damage when the skill is active. So the new skills help highlight the different races more clearly, and you wouldn't even need to know anything about the Imperials, but just by knowing their skills you can easily use their charm and wit to give them the upper hand in the markets, and on the battlefield. The rest of the races follow a similar pattern. Nords are ferocious warriors that will never surrender, and now their racial abilities give them attack buffs the lower their health gets. They also get a last stand ability that allows them to negate all incoming damage for a short amount of time. The Alvin races come with abilities that highlight their skills in archery and magic, High Elves come with a channeling ability that increases both the cost and power of all spells over time. Dark Elves come with abilities that automatically summon ancestral powers when you're in need of help. And Wood Elves can now summon different creatures depending on the region, and they also have increased bow damage on all animals and monsters. The Khajiit can still see in the dark, and they have increased unarmed damage with the use of their claws. But on top of that, they now have two new abilities that buff their movement speed and survivability, allowing them to jump and fall from higher distances than the other races. Orcs, for the most part, are still the same. However, their racial ability Berserker's Rage is a little more unpredictable, and it also sacrifices your current HP in order to deal double damage. On top of that, they also have an additional buff that boosts their skill in tempering. The Breton Vanilla abilities focus on the defense that they receive from their Mixed Man and Mer Bloodline. Skyrie takes it a step further, allowing Bretons to unleash their Twin Blood powers to give them short buffs in battle. The Redguard race are used to putting up with a harsh desert environment, which gives them increased stamina. They can also make use of a new Sandstorm charge ability that allows them to slow time and move faster for 15 seconds, giving them the upper hand in battle. And finally, the Argonian race comes with the most unique set of racial abilities. They still receive their resistance to disease and their ability to breathe underwater. However, they also have a new Protective Scales ability that slightly increases their defense against sharp weapons. They also have claws that increase their unarmed damage, and their Hissed skin ability now has four toggleable modes, with each giving increased regen for health, magicka and stamina, and the final mode reverting your regen back to default. So you'll have to switch the ability to each of the modes depending on the type of situation you're in. And that's everything you need to know about the new racial skills and abilities. On top of that, the module also makes changes to the racial descriptions so they now give a brief overview of each race, as well as the race's history. The module also changes the load screen so the racial descriptions and skills are all correct. And finally, the module also makes it so NPCs will make use of the new passive abilities, however they won't use any of the new active abilities. Once again, if you're not fond of the perk changes, then you can decide to just use this module alone. And because it solely focuses on the races, it should be compatible with nearly every other type of mod. So if you're interested in it, then you can find everything you need down below. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, and thanks for watching.